questions. We'll go ahead and get started with Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. Good afternoon, Bill. I um, wonder if you could talk a little bit about Kayvon Thibodeau and, and what you see out of him and what probably significant problems he presents. Oh, yeah. Talented fella. Talented. Um, going to have to account for him on every play and make sure we've got one or two guys assigned to him to try to neutralize him. He's going to make his plays and uh, we want to minimize him if, as best we can. I realize he's a college player, but he's projected as a real high NFL draft pick, possibly. You were in that league a long time. Is there anybody there that reminds you, you know, he reminds you of? Not that he's as good as, but just in style and what kind of a player he is? Oh, yeah. Every team on the NFL has got one or two of those guys that are really good edge rushers. Um, Shaq Barn, uh, there's just a lot of guys that are tough to deal with off the edge. So, Yep, he's looks like he's going to be another one in the long line of uh, guys that keep us keep us up late at night. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Trace Travers. Yeah, Coach, good to see you. Uh, with uh, Coach Deruder up there running their defense at Oregon, what changes have you seen on film from last year when you guys faced them? Looks like they're doing some. Uh, more effective things on third down. They've, they've been doing some really nice things against both Ohio State and Stanford that have a Coach DeRuiter's fingerprints all over them, uh, things that they did not do last year. So they've definitely upgraded, and they uh, are doing uh, some nice things that take a lot of time for us to uh, decipher and then prepare for. Yeah, And on another note, this past week was a bye week. You guys had a handful of developmental practices did anyone and any one of the younger guys in particular stand out during those practices for you well I, I think our young guys are really um working hard at it we've got um bastion sweeney who's a young offensive lineman who's doing some great things um our young tight ends who are playing but are still developing uh jermaine and kalecki continue to ascend and then wide receiver wise, we really are pleased with Maven Anderson and uh, J. Michael Sturdivant. They uh, they get better each and every day. Yeah. Is there a place for some of those guys to see more reps as the weeks go on here? Yeah, one one would think. Yeah, one would think. Whatever whoever gives us the best chance to win, we want them on the field. All right. Thank you, Coach. Okay, we'll go to Jim McGill with Bear Insider. Hey, Coach, with uh, Thibodeau missing the first half and with Bennett Williams out, sort of a leader in the defensive backfield, how do you expect that to change their defense? Oh, I don't know that it will. They've got some understudies behind him that play pretty well. Um, a converted tight end um, comes in and plays that boundary defensive end. They've got pass rusher very similar to our Oren Patu and number 29. So uh, 29 and 12 are guys that show up on the film and they're disruptive and uh, they make plays when number five is not out there. And uh, with the offensive line, it seemed that the run blocking was pretty solid games one through four and maybe a drop off a bit in game five. And the pass protection seemed to be solid games two through four, but big drop off in one through five. Were you able to isolate some things that the defensive lines and linebackers were doing to be able to put the pressure on and maybe put some band-aids on that? Yeah, definitely. We, we took a step back um, in game five and both those categories, as you described, you're right on it. And uh, we can do better. Uh, we faced a really good front that had all seniors and one true freshman. I think the Beavers experienced that front on Saturday evening up in the Palouse. And um, we want to be better when we face those those good fronts like Wazoo had. And um, so we've worked hard to get those mistakes corrected and there's going to be mistakes in each and every game we want to correct them and continue to get better like we were doing uh, in those games previous to game five was wsu doing something a bit different that was uh not so apparent in in the game's film study leading into the game well i think it's just hard to replicate how good those guys were in practice those guys in the game uh you know are, are good players uh trying to think back to their name. I think Stone, number 10, and Jackson, number 80, are, are legitimate good players who have played in this league a number of years and um, make plays week in and week out. And we, we felt the brunt of those guys. Um, it seemed like a lot of the pressure on um, the pass rush came on the, the right side of the line. 
Are you looking at maybe a little bit of uh, integrating some other people on the right side, maybe right tackle, anywhere else on the line, or is it pretty much going to be set the way it's been for the first five? Well, we have good depth, and we're ready to put in anybody uh, that we feel we need to. But Val can play better than he did. Val had a lot of good plays, too. The ones that stick out, it's too bad when you're an old lineman because only when you stub your toe are you ever mentioned. You know, we never mentioned Val when he plays so well and grades out at 90%. So um, he had a couple plays that were uncharacteristic of uh, his level, but I know he'll learn from those and apply those lessons going forward starting Friday night. Thanks. Okay, guys, anybody else with a question? Okay.